clinical trials come in different shapes and forms. Uh, a phase one clinical trial is the earliest uh, clini clinical trial, so that trial we're actually looking at uh, whether or not the specific dose of the drug is safe um, and whether or not it can be used. Uh, phase two trial, we're actually now going to look and see, does this actually work? Does it work against the cancer? Does it work as an effective treatment? And then your phase three clinical trial, that's when you've gone through all those steps ahead of time and you know this is a very good treatment and you're trying to see if it's better than standard treatment. What we're finding years ago was that people were traveling to places like Mayo and MD Anderson and big academic centers that would require them to fly or travel great distances and to really get trials that um, we could offer here. So what we did as a team is we sat down and said, what can we do to try to bring these clinical trials to our patients here so they don't have to travel? Some of the most exciting clinical trials are the ones that you develop on your own, the ones that you develop yourself, and the reason why is you're developing that trial for the patients that you see. The MISP trial was actually a concept that we developed here on our own. This was a concept that we saw in the lab. There was extreme promise of adding immunotherapy with chemo and radiation uh, to the point we could actually cut down the dose of chemotherapy uh, during treatment. So based on what we saw in the lab, we brought that into the clinic and now this is a clinical trial for our patients here and it's been uh, extremely rewarding to be able to offer patients a treatment that's both novel and potentially could reduce side effects. Every cancer has its own gene mutation um, that's its own signature, so to say, and to be able to look at that information and then design a treatment to come back and combat that is, is a very, very interesting way of treating cancer. GEMMA was a study that we developed here because uh, we understand that genomics or genetics of a cancer are extremely important in how a cancer develops and, and, and progresses. The results were the most exciting part of the GEMMA trial and the biggest result that we found on that was our ability to match patients up with treatments. So about one in three patients we were able to match them up with a treatment that was directed at their particular genetic signature. Um, probably more important was 16% of patients we were able to match them up with a clinical trial with a new drug uh, that was focused at their cancer and um, nationally that compares very well to what's being seen at MD Anderson and Cleveland Clinic, some of the larger institutions where they're only seeing maybe 5 or 10% of patients that match up with treatments. I think that every cancer patient, uh, especially patients with cancers that there is no cure or there are no great treatments, should go on a clinical trial because that's how we advance the field, that's how we find the new treatments and the new cures for their disease. This particular study was a very important study because it showed by adding this simple drug to their treatment that patients, many patients experience no nausea of chemotherapy. And these chemotherapies uh, that were studied in this particular uh, research study are notorious for causing nausea. So it was a huge impact to the patients that received that and now it's the standard of care. It's what we're now using uh, to help prevent nausea uh, for patients.